Good morning, folks. We've got a look at the sun and expected solar wind disturbance here at Earth in the coming days. Solar flaring continued this morning. We'll peek in on the official forecast for those two tropical systems and see another update on solar forcing of climate. But we're starting with our star. And the last 24 hours continued to present minor pops and surges. Plasma filament release on the north departing on the right. We should be expecting geomagnetic unrest in the coming 24 to 48 hours due to the arrival of the coronal hole solar wind streams. Departing dark patches set that stream our way and it's expected to arrive at some point in the next day. The one incoming on the north should be at too high of latitude to impact Earth, so let's look to the solar flaring, which continued this morning with a multi-peak M-class flare at the departing southern sunspot group. We'll have to be watching all the active regions as minor to moderate eruptions are continuing. Let's check in on those major storm systems in the Atlantic. Both are now recognized in their tracks based on all the models are plotted as well. Tropical Storm Brett moving west and expected to enter the Caribbean as we approach the weekend. Meanwhile, the second storm should be bending northward before it arrives there and then be heading into the northern Atlantic. We'll keep an eye on them. Folks, there's a special issue developing in frontiers of Earth science. I only check this one a few times a year, but they've been busy here in 2023. It began in January with a look at the temperature marks and their correlation with solar activity, and then moved on to the tracking of the same on Tibetan precipitation, this time looking over longer time scales. They included an excellent follow-up to several articles we've seen in the last few years on solar forcing of the AMOC, which actually then goes on to impact temperatures and precipitation, and as if we haven't seen 200 papers on solar forcing of ENSO already, a good one here just hit their special section on how solar cycle impacts the onset of La Nina, including the recent ultra-rare triple-dip La Nina we just had, and which finally shifted to El Nino a little bit ago this year. Link to the special issue is below. We greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to check out the other resources in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.